we started making pizzas, uh, I don't know, about 10 years ago as a hobby. He started making pizzas. I, started making I watched pizzas. him and ate him. He was a taste tester. And the theme is like our nostalgia. We all wolves and we looking for the sheep. It's all good when it's all I think, you know, people our age, maybe a little bit older, a little bit younger, they would resonate with that kind of nostalgia that, that we had and, and kind of just run with it and, and, and make it our own. I think we got, you know, super fortunate that we chose an electric oven. And without this oven here, I think now we wouldn't be able to do the volume we do. This thing is like a computer. Every time we open the door, it shoots extra heat in the front. It's like a heat shield. The decks stay consistently hot. Like the gas oven, as the time goes on throughout a busy night, your deck's gonna, temperature's gonna come down and down and down and down. And there's nothing you can do about it. Your pizzas are gonna get floppier and floppier and floppier and floppier. Obviously, you didn't know how efficient it would or wouldn't be. We were kind of hoping and then uh, you get that first bill and you're just relieved the fact that oh man this isn't what we expected at all i remember the first bill we got i was like i had a plan in my head for like what was i thinking i was like well it's probably gonna be like four thousand and i was like came back what 600 bucks or something i was like man i love this stuff even more edison really helped along the way in making sure that we were able to you know get it yeah and that that property they have, the food tech uh, building, is super, I think, beneficial for us because it gave us an opportunity to try it out without, you know, it's like test driving a car before you buy it kind of thing. Pie trap forever? Edison. Edison, we love you. Go, Edison. Peace.